So Justin Ross is looking like an absolute problem child for the Kansas City Chiefs. And what I mean by a problem child is, man, Justin Ross is going to be a GOAT. He's going to be a GOAT, man. And I know I made a video on him yesterday, and y'all probably like, damn, bro, he's going to keep spamming Justin Ross videos. I just, I can't control my hype, man. And the video I made yesterday was before the preseason game. So after seeing that catch in the end zone for a touchdown, where he just jumped like a million feet in the air and grabbed the ball over that little Browns defender, bro, that had me hyped. I got up and I celebrated like I was doing the touchdown. The way he mossed that defender, man, and a lot of people like, oh, he's 6'5", or whatever how he is, 6'4", because a lot of people, God, he, he's listed as 6'4", but you never know what these NFL players, what their real heights is. But he's 6'4", that's, that should be super easy for him. Okay, we understand that, but it's not about it being easy. You realize he could do that to most defensive backs, right? Like, he, he's not just pure height. Do you see his vertical? This man could jump in the air and grab that ball over a lot of defenders. So that's dangerous. And the reason why I'm saying he's a problem, not a bad problem, he's going to be dominant. And the reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of people say he's also not an every down threat. But you can't really say that because he was making some great plays, man. He's getting separation on a lot of his routes. Um, I wonder what his win rate is when it comes to route running because He's been getting open a lot. He's just been getting underthrown and things like that. But he's definitely been open a lot. And I love seeing him on that goal line fade, man. That was beautiful to watch. And having him in the red zone mixed with Travis Kels is, is honestly going to be a disaster for defenses in the NFL trying to keep up with that. And I think Mahomes is going to have his most touchdowns ever. And obviously, Justin Ross, man, he's just going to be very useful and like I said, I could really see him taking that Jody Fortson role, man. Like, I could see him taking that Jody Fortson role. And I'm not saying he's going to be a tight end. I said this in my last video. Just the similar plays that the Chiefs would draw up for Jody Fortson, I feel like Justin Ross could do very well in that as well. You know, just scheme him up in different ways possible. You can even put him in the slot sometimes because he's a big receiver that could also play in the slot i think he can make a lot of catches and a lot of great grabs at the slot position man so if andy we could just scheme up plays for ross and get him in the right spots and let ross do his thing with his route running let him show his skill set his ability to grab the ball in the end zone then it's going to be very good and NFL, man, football's right around the corner, September 7th. Can't wait, man. The kickoff is going to be amazing. Thursday night football, Patrick Mahomes, Chiefs at Arrowhead. It's going to be very good to watch. And if Justin Ross, I know he's going to play that game. He's definitely going to play. But what I think, I don't think we're going to see him every down. We're most likely not going to see him every down. But I believe that we're definitely going to be seeing him in the red zone seeing him in the, um, you know, on second downs, you know, things like that. Like I said, man, Ross is going to have his role in this offense, and him and Travis Kelsey in the red zone is definitely going to be a threat. It's, it's definitely going to be a threat. It's going to be hard to defend, and Mahomes is going to definitely have a field day, but I'm also excited for other wide receivers as well. I made a video on Amir Smith-Marset yesterday on what he could do if he makes the roster. I made a video on running back with Michael P. Ron. So the Viz is coming, man. I told y'all I was going to start really grinding around this time. And now that the season's right around the corner, y'all really about to see a different me. So now let's go over three Chiefs who's earned a roster spot and one who's going to end up being cut. So we know the Kansas City Chiefs, they ended last season as Super Bowl champions. Third time in the franchise history, second in the past four years. So they're building up a kind of little dynasty here, right? One more Super Bowl win is going to be a dynasty, or at least right next to the dynasty. Four is a guaranteed dynasty. Having Travis Kells playing at a high level with Patrick Mah mm, on the so bad, Mahomes being healthy, then they would definitely have a chance to host the Lombardi Trophy at the end of the year. I really think that they're going to do that, honestly. Now, let's look at who earned a roster spot. So, Justin Ross, man, he earned a roster spot. 
He really did. He really, really did. And even Brett Veach said it himself, man. He said in the preseason game, uh, me and Andy expect big things from Justin. So that goes to show you what he has to say. He's a fan favorite. Justin Ross, he was even a fan favorite before he even played. Last season, I was just so hyped, and I couldn't wait to see him suit up in a cheese jersey. And, man, I'm happy that it really happened. It really happened. I didn't expect it to happen. Well, I did, but I was so scared about his health that I didn't know it was going to happen around that time ever since he got on IR and all that. I thought it was going to be tricky. But since the training camp, when I was, once I seen the training camp, I knew that he was going to suit up in preseason. And, man, he he that, that touchdown pass was just crazy. He's going to be a very key target for Patrick Mahomes to look for a downfield or definitely in the end zone. Man, definitely in the end zone throughout the whole season. And he's only going to get better and better. Now, we know Blaine Gabbert, he earned his um, roster spot as QB, too. I believe LaMichael P. Ron earned his roster spot. He did very good. He had a very good game. And I think Cornell Powell should just be cut, man. Cornell Powell, he, he might as well just be cut. I don't think there's no reason for him to make the roster, to be honest with you. There's really no reason. And Justin Ross having two touchdowns in the preseason, when it's only three games in the preseason, that just goes to show you how much of a target he is. And if he gets a chance at the red zone every time, not every time, but most times throughout the whole season, then it's a possibility that Justin Ross could have a double-digit touchdown season. And like I said, he's a roster lock. The buzz was crazy, and he he really did his thing, and he lived up to the hype. Um, the off-season program, training camp, his unique profile, his upside, he's showing out now. You know, he's showing out, delivering these solid performances when he's given the opportunities, man. Every time he's given an opportunity, he's been very sure-handed, man. Very, very sure-handed. So I love that. So seeing Justin Ross get the um the snaps he deserves, it's going to be great to see him and Travis Kels do what they have to do. It's going to be great to see him and Travis Kels do what, he, do what they have to do in the red zone. I'm sorry I'm speaking like this. So honestly, um, I've been up all night. It's 4 in the morning. I'm just trying to make some content for y'all. Trying to make at least three videos before I go to sleep so I don't got to worry about it throughout the day because I have a very busy day. So I'm going to make these three videos before I go to bed. But yeah, I had to get y'all Justin Ross video real quick. He performed very well. I know the hype is there. So let's get into it, man. I know y'all. this is what y'all wanted. And if you got any video requests in the comments, let me know because I have no problem with making a video that y'all want me to make because I'm going to always give the family what they want. Cheese priority, and I'm out. Peace.